Hi everyone. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're not too scared of power tools now. Um, thank you all for coming. Unfortunately, Keely really wanted to be here, but she's not very well. So um, unfortunately, we'll be doing this without her, but she's still brilliant. Uh, th remember, all of these quotes are not under embargo, but do not spoil what's happened because everyone likes to watch it unfold. So don't be a spoil sport. So we've got a great panel, uh, starting with Willow Grills, our executive producer. Our genius writers and creators, Harry and Jack Williams. <laughs> and Baptiste Shecky Carano. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Hello. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hello. This series, once again, totally had the nation hooked. Oh. But, and you had the idea quite early, I understand. We did. We did, yeah. It was sort of midway through season one we realised we couldn't say goodbye to Julianne um, <clears throat> and sort of thought, I think it was actually when we were sort of, we were doing the Oliver, the sad ending to series one, uh, we sort of thought, well, what happened if an Oliver type was found and what does that look like? What's that story when that person, the abducted person comes home and is that the sort of the happy ending that everyone assumes that it would be. <clears throat> it was, uh, that was the sort of kicking off point, I think it was. Mm. And Checky, were you immediately on board and excited by this new series? Yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, yeah. I mean, what, 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 uh, uh, yes, I was excited. Uh, and uh, as I, I told them, I was so proud. They have so much confidence in this, uh, French actor to give uh, this mission, you know, and uh, I was really proud to take up the the challenge and uh, the this uh, affection they have for uh, this uh, French figure they know actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And there are so many secrets as you go through this series. How hard is it to keep them secret? Um, you still don't know what happens at the end, do you? No, I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Um, um, how to keep some secret? Uh, it's not too hard because I don't have that many friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to sort of keep track of which secret when is you know when you're talking to people you've got to go. Oh no! That's well, the that, thing. It's more that do you know what I mean. There's so much going on. You sometimes yeah. forget what which happens in what episode. In so you yes. to people who say what happens next. You go, well, of course. It's like when the monster comes out, and you go, oh no. I just say nothing, which is incredibly boring, you know, because you yeah, know, I'll start and I'll just ruin it. And I don't really mind, it's just really boring when you know what's going to happen, isn't it? If you know what the end is, you don't get the enjoyment of the journey. So no. you find, yeah, say nothing is the best thing, I find. And for you, Jackie, when people are asking you about, about what's going to happen, do you find that hard to, to keep stum? Uh, I'm still looking for the, the answer, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, yeah, no, it's not hard um, to, uh, to keep to keep things for, for for myself. I don't know exactly what, what is the question, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there, are so, there are so many things, everyone's desperate to find out what's going to happen next. What I can say, you know, what I, I feel, I, I find uh, very exciting uh, in the story, I mean, in the series. Uh, I felt this already in the first season, which was uh, uh, strong, and it is even more, uh, it's stronger in the season one, season two, is that I felt the audience, there is a real interactivity in the, in the way to look at the, the episodes and the way they write. Yeah. And in this one, uh, all the reactions I can see uh, um, uh, immediately uh, on Twitter when, when I go and look at what's happening, is that there is blogs here, uh, theories there. Uh, I feel they are becoming my colleagues, you know, they are uh, <laughs> <laughs> investigating as much as I, I, I'm going on, you know, so it's really, uh, there is something very witty and a uh, and, uh, uh, lot of jubilation. And um, uh, what, what I appreciate is that they really have, uh, as much as they had confidence in me, in me as an actor, they have confidence in the audience. They don't think they are stupid so they don't shoot the the things for them they give them uh, uh, opportunity to uh, enjoy uh, 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 feelings emotion and their brain uh, at the same time i think it's uh, it's um, they are fantastic i hope there is still some skeleton in the closet for uh, one two three you know <laughs> <laughs> four five six seven <laughs> as a producer it must be so exciting to see people 
get so hooked and and being so desperate for more spoilers and information. It's such a di I mean, it really feels like such a dynamic and a live conversation, and that is really really exciting. Um, just as Checky's saying, and I think, you know, and it and I think that will continue. And I, everyone should be reassured by the fact that all the questions that have come up and all the questions that are coming up, they will be answered, you know, over the course of the show. And that's something that you're both incredibly careful of. Yeah, I think, you know, you can't ask so many questions and not <coughs> attempt to have some satisfactory way for them all to make sense in Absolutely. the end. Yeah, definitely, yeah. the end is satisfying. How yeah. hard is it to write something and build in all those twists and turns, make sure each of them has the right impact? God, it's horrible. It's really horrible. <laughs> horrible. Absolutely horrible. Two solid years. It's just, those days, it's just those days you spend... 10 hours staring at each other and you go oh what happened next I don't know and you come up with oh maybe he's got dementia that's all you come up with in 10 hours it's just like really depressing <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> come on man but then you go but oh. then you break through <laughs> then yeah, you break through exactly. and I think we always yeah. try and think about expectation and what you know if someone's watching the show what they might expect to see and thinking actually particularly for this series you think well in series one people are very much speculating on who did it and who would it be and taking you know taking bets on who it would be and it just felt interesting to us to go what if that's not what it's all about what if it's a bit bigger than that and rather yeah. who it is is a question that isn't always particularly thrilling to answer because you know yeah. it's like pointing a finger and going oh it's that guy but why they did it or who they are and the fact we now have three more hours to explore yeah traditionally that side yeah, of F8 yeah. would be the one where you go okay here's the suspects we're finally going to hone in on who it is so for us, we're like, well, if this season we can do that slightly early, then we can play a different game narratively, and it, that can be the surprising thing. And there's a whole other story to tell there with, you know, the antagonist. So, did you immediately think, yeah, great idea, or did you wrestle with that? We thought no. it was a great idea, and then we wrote it, and we, oh god, what happens next? <laughs> Which one? The the end of the this end one. Of this one yeah. yeah, yeah, we had it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> but that's exciting because I think yeah. if, you, if you write something, go, I don't know what happens next, and hope the audience also go where do you go now? Rather than going, I sort of see where you're going and you're going to take two hours to take me there. It's more exciting to go. To write yourself into we a We assume corner. you're ahead of us yeah. and we're going to tell a story at the pace it needs to be told and then trust that something will come to and mind. And for us to sit there and go, um, shit, well, we've done that. How, how, where do you go from there? It's, it's the hard thing, but it's also the exciting thing mm. because there's always a tomorrow for these characters and what does that look like <coughs> for them? And how can we keep that interesting and keep it dramatic is... I guess we, do yeah, we can surprise ourselves. I yeah. Think surprise other Did you ever think, oh, we'll make it a six parter? Or a oh, so many oh, times. I, I so many times. That's all you ever say. I went to four at one point. You did. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Like, it could you... have been ten. <laughs> or three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And part of the fun of, of a show like this is making up your own theories as you go along. When you read the script, Checky, were you thinking, oh, I know where this is going to go. Oh, actually, no, it's going to go this way. Were you playing that game like the, like the viewers do? No, I was just discovering uh, uh, time after time. I was just... Uh, I, I didn't uh, really... Um, I mean, I was so much immersed in it, you know, immersed in it. I, I was just, um, you know, trying to catch the material and make it myself. Uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, concerned by the, the changes, uh, how... I will, uh, uh, what will be the vibration I will be in when I get this uh, uh, tumour. Uh, I wasn't really, um, no. Also, it's a much more personal journey for yeah, Julianne. Yeah, I wasn't series. really, uh, mm. I was just uh, um, uh, uh, excited to meet uh, the, the, all the characters. I realised I'm really uh, like a, a free electron and uh, meeting all, all of them trying to get some links and uh, it was very exciting to to go through this journey mm. yeah you connect everyone Julian. yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly every character. quite yeah. emotional for you to film though or do you, is it easy to separate yourself from that it was very yeah it was uh, it was um, 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 demanding uh, a lot and uh, yes it, it you know it was <laughs> It was fantastic. I mean, it's it's a, it's a gift uh, to to have a character like that, a character like that, mm. for for an actor. You know, it was fantastic, really good. And in terms of fan theories, there have been so many. Have there been any that are bang on? Any that are hilariously bad? <coughs> We'd have to kill you if we said <laughs> you've been bad or not. You know, all we can say is that 
the ending isn't going to involve lip solve in any way. <laughs> I, would, I would say in the spectrum of human speculation, everyone, def yeah, definitely see elements you go, yeah. And you, you see some, you're like, oh, that, that would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what do you think of that? Yeah. <laughs> but definitely, I think that's what it's like. You know, we've tried to be as fair as possible, as yeah. I think. We haven't hidden anything, so no. it's not impossible to get a sense. I've, I've got, there's lots of elements I think I've seen, but I wouldn't say anyone cracked the whole thing yeah. as one. Yeah. Is it incredibly but annoying if someone gets a bit right? Gets it right? No, it's brilliant. No. Oh, God, it's brilliant. It's, it's, yeah. it's great. So you go, <coughs> we've play, you know, laid it out and actually I think... We try and play fair, so I do, you know, people are yeah, going to get there sometimes, the, you know, it's not... It's, I, I think um, you, can, you can always surprise people by just not playing fair and like, yeah. holding things back. You can surprise people by going like, you know, David Morris is an alien, but it's not. <laughs> Spoiler <laughs> shit. Sorry. That's embargoed. But that doesn't, it's not fair to do it. So when people get it right, you feel quite pleased. I think they'll enjoy it too, I hope. Mm. If, yeah. you, if you're right about it. It's satisfying something. to get something right. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you I know. think so. Mm. But yeah, it's great reading those theories, isn't it? Yeah, it's I love great it. <laughs> yeah, I do it quite a lot. <laughs> and Left the, writing, two <laughs> things. Oh, time jump element, those are two timelines, is such a big part of the series. Is that confusing as an actor approaching that? Uh, you know, we had uh, 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 the supervisor, I don't know if you gave it or the, if it was the script supervisor or the first AD, but we had the, the real chronology, not to get lost. Because oh, I, I saw that. You did. You did I didn't have that. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know give it to me. <laughs> That's why I was not lost, you know. <laughs> also, because we film it in yeah. two separate, so we film mm. the whole of one time period mm. in a block, and then we film the whole of the other mm. time period in a block, which kind of allows you to stay within the continuity yeah. of your performance. Yeah. Mm. But sometimes, even inside the, the periods, there were some uh, things yeah. happening before. Uh, yeah. We have some clues uh, before we. If we remember, oh, that was yeah. that clue, and so we needed to have uh, this chronology. It was very helpful. To, uh, I love that. Sometimes turn to Keely and say, so where are we again? What, what year is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah all the time. even when you're writing, you get a bit confused. Well, yeah. you made it up. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I know. <laughs> when you pitch an idea, you go, oh, no, they're dead already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a special, did you write it in two separate We blocks? don't have <coughs> those. No, we have lots of different documents which we keep losing and, you know, should <laughs> never properly. Yeah. 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 But no, we didn't. Sort of I think it's quite, when you have a big chart, it feels quite constrictive and it feels mm. like you have to follow the thing. It feels like very overwhelming to look at that much paper. I think when you just write bits down here and there, you can feel more like... It feels less like work. Yeah, you can discover it. Like yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and there have been, and I'm sure will be as well, some really breathtaking moments. When you read that on the page, just does it take your breath away in the same way? Um, and what's it like yes. seeing it yeah. just there? Yes, yes. I mean, uh, the the you get the emotions. Uh, the if I have to talk about one special scenes to shoot, it was the one. I don't know actually if it's uh, I forgot which episode. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, I got so sick. It's really good. <laughs> it's good. It's very. Uh, it's it's the most iconic Junior yeah, moment. Next episode, it's like a five yeah. minute. It's great. It's, very it's amazing. But no. And you wait till you see the score. It's so good. You don't love it. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. Episode six is really all about Julia. It is. It's very Julia. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. No. So the best is yet to come. We can. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, exactly. But this the scene with um, Stone. I love in this. That's oh yeah, the one we saw today. Yeah. I just yes, I really love it. Yeah, I really, I think it was a good scene because you know, uh, I mean, we we understand because we can think with uh, Adrian Stone that he's escaping in this uh, uh, loss of memory, like uh, you know, he feels so guilty that he's escaping in it, and uh, that's why when I question him, uh, I, I can feel that um, is he really ill or not you know mm -hmm. but when he gets that uh, emotion uh, coming out of the photography mm -hmm. we can feel uh, the pain I mean also and uh, to, to carry that uh, that uh, uh, horrible uh, uh, moments he had to 
you know, go Whatever through. Whatever they are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in seven? <laughs> in seven. 1991? Yeah, yeah. And lots of netbooks. <laughs> <laughs> lots of people here will have been on a set, and it is very different seeing something being filmed there and seeing it on there. Does it feel magical when you see it, the final product, and how thrilling yeah. it is with the music in the background? Yeah, yeah. for this one, because it's all so disparate. You've got the whole the one time, and you don't know what it's going to look like mm. until you're in the edit suite and that's I don't think we saw thing, anything you know. in sequence even mm. you don't know how the story's it. holding together for a really long yeah. time yeah, yeah. you know you rebuild it uh, sometimes yeah, a little definitely, bit yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, talking about the finale I know you can't really say anything first of all will you all sit and watch it in real time yes, yes, yes definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah in separate rooms <laughs> Chucky, will, no. will you sit and watch it? As, as Would, will you sit and watch the finale as the final episode? Will you, will you watch that in when it goes out on TV? Uh, I'm in France, so uh, be it will be next year. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Another timeline. You know. yeah, well, we'll but make sure you have maybe it so on that iPlayer. Yeah, will yeah. 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 uh, yeah. screening. And you've oh. already implied this, but you think people will be happy with the ending. Uh, well, people, oh. the endings always divide people, but mm. will the ending answer all the questions that people have? Yes, yeah. I think they will. Yeah, it's very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It will be a question mark anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Some hope, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> is it difficult to write an ending? It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. hard. Yeah. It's hard, yeah, because you definitely feel obliged to... I don't know, you, 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 you want to answer things, but you also want it to be a good story. You want it to be enjoyable in and of itself. You don't want it to be like 25 minutes of people going, this is what happened. You want yeah, people to keep talking afterwards characters. as well. You don't want to just go, oh, they did it, oh, what's on next? You know, you want it to be, you know, an idea you've explored and a thing people keep talking about, you know. And we have a lot of characters. So yeah. Lot, so, I mean, the first cut was about 100 minutes or something insane. It was yeah, really long, long, so we had a lot to say. Yeah. yeah. Could have done a special iPlayer version. That would have been yeah. good, although the 100-minute right. version was not. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably for the best. This one is, yeah, I think it's better. But it's that's hard, but precisely fun. Wanted, why you wanted to reveal what you did at the end of episode five, so that you could do justice to that story properly over three episodes. There's a lot. Exactly. Yeah, just yeah. unpacking that and that. Yeah. how this came to be is a whole. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to come. Yeah, it's a lot to get through. And I'm going to open up to questions before in a second, but I also just wanted to quickly ask you about Abigail, who plays. Alice Webster, uh, um, because she <laughs> is uh, <laughs> she is deliciously creepy, uh, yeah, both in terms of makeup and performance. Um, how hard was it to find her, and is she sort of what you would always imagine when you're writing it? She was, yeah. Her audition was just amazing. It was exactly what we saw there. It was, you know, it was a scene from Ep One, and she was just haunting and weird and compelling. But you also the hard thing with doing all that sort of spooky stuff is the hard thing is sort of feeling for them and making them real and three-dimensional and that's something she really managed to do sort of and she did that brilliant dinner scene from episode three yeah that one was know, amazing yeah with the gravy that wasn't used yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brilliant okay i'm sure you've got loads of questions so put your hands up ed have you had many parents like ones who've lost children and ones who haven't who are just sort of nervous to watch it because it's quite real and <laughs> Yeah. Um, we did last year. Last um, time it was more because it's sort time. of that fear. But this one, it's a, it's a less common thing, you know, coming back f from having <coughs> been abducted. So it's sort of, we haven't had that as much, I would say. I'd say around about week three or four people start to go, oh, okay, I can give it, give it a try. Okay. Yeah. But not, no, not as much as last year, I wouldn't say. Yeah, a lot of people couldn't watch it last year because of that, you know, so in a way... I almost didn't came do it because maybe. of that. Yeah. You almost didn't do it because of that, I don't know. Yeah. That'd yeah. be terrible, wouldn't it? Would have been awful. Well, that okay. would have been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was like I was taken like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you have <laughs> to go there. <laughs> True, we had to offer it to you twice. We did. <laughs> no regrets, God. <laughs> but my guts <laughs> spoke to me. Yeah. 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 I have to say, you know, I'm really uh, uh, also a... Uh, 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 admiring the the this um, incredible chemistry there is between uh, uh, Jack and Harry Willow, the BBC team, the new picture, uh, is something really graceful that is happening in this project. Uh, I have to say it, you know. I like it. Very and likewise. I like it. Oh, this is a love it. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Totally. okay. Totally. Uh, just um, uh, on writing as brothers. Um, 
do you have different roles? Um, do you fight? And does one of you have the final say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we, uh, what's the first one? Different roles. Yeah. No, we have different strengths, I think. We bring different things to the table, but we sort of do a bit of what the other one does as well. So it's sort of interchangeable and ever-changing, I would say. Um, we don't really fight. We used to have a band and we'd argue constantly. Because uh, we both just like different music. Yeah. Is this like um, a punk band? Or? It was, I don't know what it was. It was just not good, <laughs> in any way. Um, but no, it's pretty, I mean, you, you don't really argue because you're like, well, if, if, if you don't like this idea, then if you really don't like this idea, let's come up with a different one and find a different yeah, way to it. If you don't like it, come up with a different one. fuck you. <laughs> 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 if you don't like it, do it, come up with something better. Jack, not here. So, <laughs> I think... You, when you finish a script, so many people have to read it. Yeah. So many people have an opinion, and so and then even more watch it and have an opinion. So yeah. actually, if you can't withstand the other one going, we can do better than this. Then I think what's good is that you know we have we can be sort of horrible and quite brutal with each other and sort of shut the other one down. And it's a process of just asking the other one. Oh, I don't. The other one just a series of questions and sort of trying to make sure it's as good as it can be before we give it out to anyone. So it's sort of so far worked okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, I just had to ask about the, the, the violence of that final scene and just kind of um, do you do you sort of get worried when you when you come to write scenes like that because I guess sort of it's it's one thing to sort of say you know pick up the electric drill in, in the script and then another to sort of see it by, on the screen there I mean are you are you asking yourself kind of like how much can the audience take at this point you know how totally yeah <laughs> yeah yeah definitely i think you write it and then you watch it and then you go let's have less of that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah there's definitely ways that it could be a lot i think you've got to take a view on what what's going to do the job for the story and what's going to tell the story best and i yeah. think sometimes being shocking is, is a really helpful thing and tells you a lot about a character and tells you a lot and makes you sit up in the moment but sometimes if the story is doing the work you need it to and uh, you know i think you don't need to be excessive with it i don't know you yeah. write it and just think hopefully that'll be that'll work and then you watch it back and you could there's so many different ways to play it that's the thing you don't you don't necessarily commit yourself when you write it you go let's go for the best most shocking version and then you can watch it and take a view yeah. Kind of yeah i think so yeah you know and in the same way as the can the uh, the when Tony Hughes kills Ian Garrett in series one, that was horrible and really quite graphic, but actually it was messy and real and slightly prosaic. And it was the culmination of a story that we really felt with the character. Um, you know. I thought we'd kill someone episode five. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Why did you choose to do a drill? Because I thought he was just going like, to knock him over the head or something, but a drill's quite unusual and quite... Like you, even though we didn't see it go into his head, yeah, it's quite a sort of gruesome concept. It's even more gruesome if it went in. Um, yeah. uh, why, <laughs> why drill? I think we wanted him to have things that were. To be honest, it doesn't. We we needed just doing stuff in the house. He's there. He's got stuff knocking around, and it felt he wasn't really specific about these things. He wanted to do something that is memorable, memorable, and different, and he's a guy. Who does a bit that we, we talked about his character and what he did and he did all the woodwork in the house and you know um i think the difference between sort of knocking someone and getting a drill is one is potentially accidental or in the moment at the moment and this is very intentional mm. and, and that of, speaks to him as a character yeah. there's a big lack of humanity in that i think that it's, it's quite important that instead of just going it's a, a tussle and it went wrong which is a quite different thing from going i pinned you down and now i'm going to get the drill that's quite a, it says a lot about someone <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they drill into the head. Um, wow. I think so. So yeah, it, and and it's more memorable. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, Jackie said he would like to see one, two, three. So would you consider doing a third series? Uh, um, I think you know, with, like with the second one, I think we didn't, we didn't, definitely didn't want to do it in a sort of cynical way. It was only when we had that story to tell, and we're like. We've, lost, we've done the story about losing someone, now we're going to do the story about finding someone. So it'd have to be that thing. It'd have to be looked, very different. It'd have to be very different and it yeah. wouldn't have to be not cynical and it'd have to be saying something new. So, you know, I think never say never. Also, you know. I never say never, but I think, I think the one thing we can say for certain is like 
series two, it would be very different from series yeah. one and two. Yeah, I mean, we, we haven't had the idea. Yeah, to be honest, yeah, we're still it. doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. I was just going to. You, you were sort of saying like how you read um, audi audience reaction and stuff like that. And, and are you are you still sort of editing the last couple of episodes now, or do you kind of think, oh, actually, I should put in an extra little clue because they haven't picked that up? Like, how, <laughs> It'd be it, really useful. It would be really useful. <laughs> <It'd be so laughs> good. Episode eight, I think we locked off. We locked that a few, yeah, about a few a weeks month. ago. We haven't yeah. finished it yet in terms of every, all the post-production processes. But sometimes you read there. things and you go, I'm really glad we did answer that. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes that reaction. Yeah, I think mostly it's quite gratifying because there's lots of people who read them and lots of people have got their heads together. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally think, should we? But actually, mostly it's been it's come up. It's been okay, hasn't it? Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think it's quite a relief. Otherwise, we wouldn't stop fiddling, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. It's quite a relief that it's done. Do you, for instance, with an episode like this, do you sort of salivate thinking they're going to love this one? I was pleased because there was one going. Oh, we we there was one by something called I can't remember what it was. It said. We've spotted a massive hole and we've figured them out. Yeah, about the, the pregnancy. But yeah, the yeah. And, I was, and I saw that headline and I was like, oh shit, what is it? <laughs> fucked up. Uh, and, then, and I read it and I was like, oh, it's fine next week. Uh, it'll be <laughs> Thank Cause, God. Because Gem on episode four asks, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah asked me family, family, did you ever want a family? To a family yeah. road. And yeah, my wife turned to it, but she was pregnant two years ago. Is yeah. she that stupid? And you're like, no, it's. Yeah. yeah. So you're pleased so when things, you have the answers yeah. coming up. Yeah. 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 A couple more questions? Yeah. Well, the Scottish press office guy, whose name I don't even know, but were there any clues to him going through that, that this was going to be... Are we, is it supposed to be completely out of the blue, or are we supposed to have picked up on that in any way? No, I don't think there's any yeah. way you could know that at all. Yeah. And that's a good thing, yeah. I think because we do it so early, there's time in the next few episodes to really explore why and how he's connected to everything else that's going on. But no, I, I'd be... I mean, if you play the game enough and you go... I vaguely recognise him and he hasn't had that much to do. Which tends to be the <laughs> thing. <laughs> um, which which yeah. some people I did, people playing the game go, him, he's quite a good actor, he hasn't said very much. Yeah. But you can't avoid that, you have to cast someone really good. <laughs> and yeah. You have to have some not doing. So I think we tried to use him as much of the story required so that, they, you know, we there are army press liaison officers, we met one when we did the research for the show, we thought that's quite a weird and specific job and he's got a very good reason to you know, sit with the family, and he's organically involved at least, but no, I don't think you could really... No, we, we just felt that, you know, just establishing his presence was enough, given that we were going to, you know, unpack him in the second half of the show. It's good to know. Um, yeah. um, you know the, uh, the guy that's in prison at the moment for the murders, does his wife have a more important part to playing it throughout the rest, the rest mm -hmm. of the episodes? Yes, she'll yeah. reappear. Yeah. She, yeah. Cool. <laughs> 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 she's well the isn't she? Yeah, she's fantastic. fantastic. She's very yeah. good. Yeah, she's, she's so good. Yeah. 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 Are, there, are there any real life stories that you based it on? Um, I think we read every <clears throat> real life story like this. I think they and what's depressing is and sort of you know it's just how similar all of them are and actually the pathology of these cases. Um, yeah. You know, very similar from Natasha Kempusch to the Cleveland abductions. To I mean, there's. You know, the Fritzl stuff, there's, yeah, five or six quite key specific ones that we read all of it and sort of absorbed all of it in some capacity and it's amazing how many similarities there are in that dynamic. Why are you based in Germany? No, actually no, that was a sort of odd synchronicity, that was actually because of the army base and we, yeah. we, want, we really want to tell the army base story and yeah. that's the only place where we have army bases. Yeah. <laughs> um, Although a lot of them are now being decommissioned. But not by the years. Fine. <laughs> Four years. A couple more burning yeah. questions. Um, I wondered, I, I know you obviously can't give too much away, but I feel like a lot of the characters have kind of had their, their peak and their breakdown, and Keely Hawes, I, I feel like she's a champagne bottle ready to pop in terms of like where, she's, where that character's going, and I feel like she hasn't had her seminal breaking point. Would you say that that's accurate? Could you talk a little bit about what's, what's in store for her? Um, I suppose, you know, what she, she's been broken and rebuilt herself so many times since even, you know, her daughter was taken in 2003 and since 2014, that constant uncertainty about, you know, uh, who she's letting into her house. So I think in many ways we've seen her struggle that so much that she's stoically resisted so much already 
that, um, yeah, I mean, look, she remains obviously very central. She's amazing, as you've seen, yeah. I think. Yeah, her yeah. Performance in episode four, right before she gives a press conference, is, you know, that's one of her best moments for me. But there's, yeah, there's plenty more to come with yeah. her. And I think to look at what that does to a person um, and who's had to hold things together for so long is, is broken down over the next three hours. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's episode six in particular. Yeah. I mean, she's a, she's the one person who through. can see what uh, Julian Baptiste can see and is going to, you know. Um, so she's very important to that central story. Okay. A final question? Uh, Jackie, um, it's, it's quite a miserable topic and it's quite an uncomfortable watch, as brilliant as it is. It, when you're acting in something like this, is it, does it go home with you? Are you still thinking about the sort of misery of the storyline when you get home after finishing filming? Um, um, you know, I relate to this character also because for me as an actor, it's uh, fantastic to be able to play somebody of my age with the, the road I, I went through and, uh, and uh, play also with the, the rhythm I have as a man today. I feel I have more wisdom I uh, learn uh, more to listen to people. Uh, there is a lot of qualities uh, I love there. And there is also the fatigue and the, the different uh, kind of energy that sometimes can be a uh, uh, question myself. And uh, I feel like I'm 30, but uh, I'm 63. I feel, uh, <laughs> I, I look behind, I see this road, I'm thinking what is left, even though anybody can die uh, uh, one day after the other, but you know to go through this kind of emotion and uh, and um, call uh, what he's going through with this uh, disease. I go back. <laughs> I have to sleep, you know, and um, and uh, eat well and uh, do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it goes. It stays with me, yeah, and it's questioning me also. You know, because uh, I have children, I have a four years old uh, daughter, I have a little baby, uh, he's seven months, yeah. so I'm a young father, <laughs> and I'm also a grandfather. So, um, um, yes, it's questioning. I, I mean, the, that's why uh, um, I love the character, because uh, in life you have to face, uh, you know, you have to question, uh, you cannot uh, let go life like that. I mean, it's fantastic to be able to live uh, every second uh, of your life uh, and be in the moment. But uh, it's also necessary to have a vision on, uh, on, on what's around you, on society, on uh, what are we going through today, you know, what does it mean to be a, a man or a woman today. Uh, it's, you go back with it. And that's why the, the stories is fantastic, because there is so much characters you know, uh, they, they are, uh, there is the thriller, uh, as you said, but there is also the destiny of uh, uh, Sam Webster, the mother, the daughter, the son, what is he going to be? Those two guys, the twins, it's uh, so rich. It's so, um, um, yeah, it's rich and it uh, uh, makes you, uh, when I read, and I didn't see the series yet. I saw just the first episode and half of uh, this one. I can't wait to look at it, you know. But uh, yes, you go back uh, home with uh, more uh, desire to be alive and to continue and be creative. And I'm sure uh, there is a lot of skeleton uh, in the... I know this character. I'm, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, but I mean, you know what? Uh, the, the guy you know went through so many yeah, uh, did, yeah. stories. Yeah. There is, I'm sure, so many things to... To but say, because I feel, I'm sorry, I'm talking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, no, but I'm talking seriously. It's a, come on, the uh, debrief. Um, <laughs> having a little debrief. No, but it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's interesting to yeah. have a, I mean, this figure, I think yeah. the yeah. figure, yeah. To go on. there, yeah. there, there was Hercule Poirot, and today we have Julien Baptiste. <laughs> 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 